Good morning. It's Monday, July 22nd, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Love from a Distance, and our scripture is Colossians chapter 2, where Paul writes, I want you to know how much I have agonized for you in the church at Laodicea and for many other believers who have never met me personally. I want them to be encouraged and knit together by strong ties of love. I want them to have complete confidence that they understand God's mysterious plan, which is Christ himself. In him lie hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I'm telling you this so no one will deceive you with well-crafted arguments. For though I am far away from you, my heart is with you. And I rejoice that you are living as you should and that your faith in Christ is strong. And now, just as you accepted Christ Jesus as your Lord, you must continue to follow him. Let your roots grow down into him and let your lives be built on him. Then your faith will grow strong in the truth you were taught, and you will overflow with thankfulness. The letter to the believers at Colossae was one of Paul's prison epistles written while the apostle was chained to a Roman guard. Prisoners have a lot of time on their hands. Paul spent his time trying to encourage and help disciple the folks he'd met or those he had just heard about. Loving others from a distance is not an easy thing. There are times when only face-to-face will do. I bumped into one of those times recently. In writing this devotional, which is always evolving because it's a daily unfolding of what Scripture means to me, there's always an element of risk that I might send out a message not quite what I had intended. Since there's nobody in the room at 5 a.m. but my snoring dog, I don't talk to anyone before sending it out. So, feedback is something I take seriously, and I count on it to double-check what I'm communicating. My friend, who is several states away, busted me on something I hadn't seen or even suspected, that my views on a certain political figure were seeping into these daily offerings. So, in a few private messages, I asked for a deeper explanation, and we quote-unquote talked back and forth. Then I did a bit of reading on my recent messages and found out that my friend was spot on the target. Mia culpa, my bad. Thank you, my friend. You know, a friend willing to risk a few words of helpful criticism is a treasure. Which brings me to this morning's urgent call from the Apostle. Even in person, loving others is difficult. When you're at a distance, it borders on impossible because you miss so much of the communication process, context, facial expression, inflection, and volume, to name just a few. But still, when you're in the prison of distance, you do the best you can. Paul expressed his love and care for the church at Laodicea. Do you remember them from Revelation chapter 3? They were the lukewarm, complacent church that Jesus warned that they needed to get a little fire under their feet. Their very existence as part of God's family was at stake. Yet Paul wrote words of encouragement and expressed his confidence in their ability to grow strong as a witness and entreated them to be on guard against deceiving influences that would continue to work against true discipleship. Even with the flat medium of words, you can sense the urgent message of love for these believers living on the edge of mediocrity at best, or at worst, apostasy. For you today, there are those whom you get to love up close and personal, and there are those for whom loving from a distance is the only option. When it comes to the latter, use today's social media carefully. The seeds of misunderstanding have a fertile soil there for a bumper crop of heartache. Remember Jesus' advice in the Sermon on the Mount about kingdom living, to find agreement with others quickly before a little misunderstanding ends up in a really messy consequence. That's a non-negotiable kingdom imperative for believers, face-to-face or from a distance. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.